Okay, guys, welcome to the Rebatec channel. So this video, I'm going to be showing you a Mac Mini 2011 A1347. This will be the first in the world, right here in this channel, Rebatec channel, where you can convert this into an all-in-one entertainment system. So yeah, it's quite hot. Firstly, I would like to send my appreciation to my fellow subscribers and viewers for growing this channel together with me. So, to celebrate the birth of my beautiful girl last July, I have decided to release this video and the complete tutorial in part 2 sometime down the road. This will be part 1 of a part 2 video. The second part will be the complete tutorial. This video will also hopefully inspire those newbies into tech or those planning to start a tech business. It's for those who want to bring out more out of their old Macs or like to tinker with tech. I haven't seen anyone share this anywhere on YouTube or online where I'm from. I'm the very first to feature this. And thank you for clicking this video. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking this subscribe button. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. A fellow YouTuber Scott did a fantastic video converting a Mac Mini into a portable laptop. And I thought, after watching this video, why not I do my own take of the Mini? And so I did. This video isn't for everyone. Those out there will definitely comment, why not just install Linux or just run virtual machine? So let's talk about skills. Speaking of skills, let me take a few minutes to talk to you about a website called Skillshare. Have you ever wanted to learn how to do something out of the ordinary or interesting? Well, now you can by taking classes online at Skillshare.com, which are taught by professional instructors and have their own class rosters. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. Heck, I learned much about blockchain by using Skillshare. I've always wanted to learn and know more about blockchain in depth, and I found the right teacher in Ravinder Dio. I started right away with his lessons, a guide to the blockchain ecosystem, helping you to understand the blockchain. I will definitely have a deep understanding in blockchain in no time. Be sure to check for my referral link in the description after watching this video. The first 1,000 people to use this link will get a one-month free trial courtesy of Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of new learning, growth, and connection to creativity. Now back to the topic. But what if I tell you that this machine right here, this old unwanted and obsolete Mac Mini, can be your all-in-one entertainment system and it can still make it relevant in 2022 onwards. What if you can play games, run your programs and watch live TV and movies on it? This is the Intel Mac Mini 2011. For years, I have not seen anyone actually feature this anywhere online and I wouldn't recommend using the AMD variant of this model as the chip is defective. I can bet after this video, this Mac Mini will sell like hotcakes. I can bet that after this video, this Minis will be sought after. Owners of these models will raise the prices of these Minis. This could possibly replace those Android TV boxes as well. Possibly. But then again, this isn't for everyone. So previously, I had the Mini, the Apple TV, Android TV box, on my TV console and I find it kind of messy so I thought what if I try to have all this in a single computer and so I did I chose the mini I could install this on a laptop or MacBook but the mini is just too perfect the best thing about the mini that it's already portable and you can still upgrade your storage and memory as well this mini will take a few seconds to load as I've already maxed it out with SSD and 16GB of RAM. You can travel with it anywhere. You can plug and play on any TV with HDMI and as long as Wi-Fi connection. could just put this in your bag along with a wireless keyboard and HDMI like this.
I have four breathing systems installed. These four breathing systems are running and installed separately on their own. I've set it up to run macOS, Windows, Android, and Batocera. Say, for example, if I'm out traveling with this mini and macOS decides to f up and stop booting, I could still count on Windows or Android to continue with my day. I've installed macOS Monterey via OpenCore Legacy Patcher to keep this machine right up to date. I can still do light Photoshop and light video editing. I can also watch my favorite movies and watch TV shows on the Apple TV app or I can switch to Windows and light game on this model as well. But don't expect high intensive games to run. I use Xbox Cloud Gaming to play my Xbox games on this machine. Pairing the Xbox controller is seamless. And then when I'm bored with Windows, I can switch to Android. I've chosen Prime OS as my primary Android system to watch live TV and movies. You can sideload many apps on this operating system, install movie apps and such which I'm not gonna share on this channel, unfortunately. And that's about it. You have everything all in one. Hope you enjoy and find this video useful. Stay tuned for part two and stay safe. Thank you for watching.